Hi everyone, this is Tanner here, and welcome back to another video. We have another tier list video. The other time we did the 2D Mario games, today we have the Mario Kart games. First of all, thank you for the feedback uh, for the video. A lot of y'all seem to like it. Different setting here. Uh, also, no glasses this time because um, they had a bit of a reflection, so thought I would minimize that. But Mario Kart, very fun, very rageful moments, but overall it's a fun multiplayer game. We have the different tiers, S being the best, D being the worst. I don't have F tier because I don't think there's any F tier Mario Kart game. So let's start here with Super Mario Kart, the original. I think this is a B tier game. I think for this game, being on the SNES, it's the best it could be. Is it amazing? No, but I like it. I think the courses are cool. I like how they're mo modeled after Super Mario World. There's a lot of Super Mario World inspiration. You have like the cape for the power up. I like said, a lot of the stages like Donut Plain Valley. You know, there's a lot of things referencing the classic 2D platformer that I like. Also, think for the SNES, the game moves pretty fast. Um, you know, there's a lot of really nice speed moments. So this is a really great introduction to Super Mario Kart. I first played this game in like 2018, so I played a lot of these more mod modern ones. But I came back and still enjoyed it a solid amount. So I think this is a B tier game. Okay. Hot take time, everyone. I don't love Mario Kart 64. I think it's a C-tier game. Do I think it's bad? No. Does it have some good elements? Yes. I think the stages are really cool. Some of my favorites. I like the character expanding in this one. Um, it's in 3D, which is cool. You know, a lot of classic Mario Kart elements in this one. But the racing just feels very sluggish to me. Every time I play it, it doesn't feel fast. It just doesn't have that excitement with it. And that's ultimately what, what Mario Kart is. It's a very exciting, frantic game. Whoa, stuff all over the place. I don't think it has it. People also love the battle mode. It doesn't do it for me in this game. It's a cool, sort of, but I don't know. There's nothing really special about this game for me. And, you know, it's not just because it's a retro classic games. I love a lot of classic retro games. I go back to this game and I just don't love it. It's fine. And thus, it's in C tier. Mario Kart Super Circuit, I think, is D tier for me. You know, I get it's on the Game Boy Advance. There's some cool tracks, but this one, I feel like, is kind of the worst Mario Kart game um, for me. Alrighty. Mario Kart Double Dash, in my opinion, is an S tier game. I think Mario Kart Double Dash is really one of the most underrated Mario games ever. In my opinion this for me has what mario kart should it's very fast the music is you know just loud it's bumping like yeah let's go the colors are vibrant it's chaotic it, it, it's just creative courses and tracks you have the two player hertz system i think double dash for me is what i think of mario kart in my eyes i think this is a game that really has that feeling to it and i think it's super underrated a lot of people are like yeah it has two people in the cart that's cool it is, and I love it, and I think it's awesome, but I also love just the chaotic energy it has. It's just the visuals are great, and I love the two-player kart system because it's great for multiplayer. If you are playing with someone who's not the best racer, they can be the person in the back throwing the items. I really love that, and I wish they brought it back, and it's very shocking that they have not. So Mario Kart Double Dash is one of my favorite Mario games. Do I think it's the best Mario Kart game? We'll wait and see, but... I love it, and I think it's definitely S tier. All right, Mario Kart DS is going to go in, in B tier. I know a lot of people love this game, and there are some things that I like in it. Mission mode is fantastic. I love, love, love how you can go on these little missions, fight bosses. All that works so cool, and it makes sense because it's Mario. He goes on missions in the game. Makes sense. I like how you can customize your kart. And also love the retro track system. This is where the retro tracks really kind of came into play. I think um, the way it's organized, because, you know, there's four retro cups in, in each cup. There's like one SNES track, one N64 track, one GBA track, one GameCube track. I really like that system of organizing. There's some cool new items. You have the Boo in here that can steal items. I just feel like sometimes these handheld Mario games, the racing isn't as powerful, and I kind of feel that. With Mario Kart DS, it's a fine game in terms of racing, but added so much to the series that 
I wish they brought back. So I don't love it, but I respect it a lot for, you know, taking the series into new directions. And a lot of people have a lot of great memories. So I do have it in B tier. Not my favorite, but I like what it did for Mario Kart. Okay, possibly another hot take. Mario Kart Wii, still to this day, I think is the best Mario Kart game. Here's why. I think it's the best of innovation while still being simple and fun. I really do like Mario Kart 8 and the arcade games and Mario Kart 7. We'll get to those. But I think sometimes those games have a bit too much. Mario Kart, I think, at the end of the day, is a very recognizable series. A lot of people who don't play Mario games play Mario Kart. They're just so like, oh, yeah. I think Mario Kart Wii has the best of that. I think the motion controls are the best of the series. The Wii Remote just works so perfect. And... I love how you can go with cart or bikes. The other games in the series after this tried to go with cart customization. And while I think that's nice, it sometimes I think it's a bit too much. I think Mario Kart Wii is to that point where they have enough things for beginners, but yet a lot of stuff for pros where they can love it. I think this game also has some of the best tracks. You have Coconut Mall, um, you know, Maple Tree Way, Koopa Cape, Warriors Gold Mine. You know, I even love Mario's Circuit in this game. The Bowser Castle in this game. Like, there's a lot of fantastic tracks. Um, I like the battle mode. and even had it online. So, you know, Mario Kart 8 might have more. But I think Mario Kart Wii is the most simple while also having a lot of fun. And the characters, too, I think are great. So, Mario Kart Wii, I think, is the best Mario Kart game. Mario Kart 7 is A tier. I like it a lot. I think it uses the 3DS very well. You know, when the 3DS was coming out, I was like, 3D, it's in your face. I think a lot of 3DS games don't use the 3D that well, but I think Mario Kart 7 genuinely does. I think this is the one game where it's like, wow, and I love the effects there. This introduced the ability to control your cart while in the air and underwater, which is cool. The cart customization I don't love. I think it just could have been streamlined better. But I like Mario Kart 7 a lot. I like a lot of the tracks. Um, there's like Warrior Shipwreck, Bowser's Neon City, a lot of cool ones like that. I think they controls better. I think Mario Kart 7 and DS are very close for me, but I think 7 just feels a bit smoother in my eyes. So that's why I have it above the DS counterpart. Mario Kart 8 is for me going to be B tier, the original. I know that might be weird. The anti-gravity is neat. I think sometimes, though, it's weirdly implemented. Sometimes it's just like anti-gravity. You're like, okay, cool. You bump people. It seems kind of a bit weird. It's kind of a mixed bag for me. The battle mode in Mario Kart 8, this is the one for the Wii U, is bad. It is really bad. You know, you just kind of drive along on courses. And yes, I've had fun with friends with it, but it's still not that well made. You know, I had fun. This game just kind of feels empty. As the card customization, as all of the things most other games had... But I just wish it had a bit more. And that's kind of like the Wii U in general. General, I'll probably do like a console ranking. But it's like, it's cool. I just wish it was more. So this is B tier. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, though, is S tier. Um, it is S tier. I, I will say that. I think um, it fixes a lot of issues. Battle mode's better. Uh, you got some new cool characters. The DLC tracks. It keeps getting added and added. Do I think it's the best? No, because I think sometimes it's a bit too much with... Okay, doing this with that. I've played a lot of Mario Kart with a lot of different people. And it seems like the general consensus is Mario Kart Wii is the most accessible, which I think is a big part of this series. It fixed a lot of things, though, and it's still very fun to play. So it is S tier. Then we have the other Mario Kart games, these Mario Kart arcade games, which I have played a bit and I've seen gameplay of, so I don't have the best knowledge of it. It's cool, though. You, you have Pac-Man, some of his friends. It's like Bandai Namco and Nintendo co-created it. Some of the tracks are cool. I'll put the original one here in B tier. Um, and I think I'll put the sequel in C tier. They're fun arcade games. I wish they got like a port on the Switch. I think that would be pretty cool. It's cool to see Pac-Man and Mario crossover before Smash Bros. So that's always neat. Um, and Mario Kart DX is, I think... Um, the best out of these. I think it has a bit more with it. There's a lot of cool stages if you really look at this with like the, you know, like tracks they have for Pac-Man. Really cool. I think it would be cool if they brought Pac-Man back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Mario Kart 2 I have not played yet. I've heard though it's kind of okay and the gameplay I've seen, I think it goes in C tier. 
I think the thing with Mario Kart Tour is that it's very hard to, like, unlock characters. And that's why I haven't gotten into it. I tried it, and it's just... It's like, okay, Mario Kart should be accessible, and this isn't. So, I think it goes at the bottom. And I have no idea what this is. Mario Kart VI is at 6. I have no idea. So, I'm going to put at the bottom, even though I haven't played it. So, that's what I'll have for the rankings. I think that looks good. So, Mario Kart Wii is the best. And then, Super Circuit's the worst. I like that. We have three S tier games, one A tier, five B tier games. Um, Mario Kart 64 is pretty low. You know what? I'll switch it. I'll do that. That feels good. I like this list now. Okay, so that's it. Probably going to be some hot takes on here, but you know what? This is just kind of my opinion, where I stand on things. I think the cool thing with Mario Kart is everyone has their favorites. I've seen people love DS, Wii, the one, you know, on the original, 64. Everyone has their memories, and that's what makes Mario Kart so special. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Take, out, take care and peace.